Hi, I'm Chris from Simul and I'm here to showcase some of the changes made to TrueSky's Unity plugin as we have just released a new Unity compatible 4.3 beta version and we are excited to go through what this entails. The Unity package will be for Unity 2019 and 2020 and will also include functionality for use with the high definition render pipeline without the need to download any additional packages and we will cover the setup for this in a future video along with updating the documentation to guide you through this process. As you can most likely see, the 4.3 update has brought through a lot of changes when compared to previous versions and updates of the TrueSky plugin. It has all of the features included in Unreal's 4.3 release rolled into this Unity version. This means many additional settings that have been previously part of the Unreal plugin but not the Unity plugin have been brought forward and everything that was shown within the Unreal 4.3 release video is available and functional here in the Unity plugin. The video that describes all of this will be linked down in the description. I will quickly go through some of the more notable settings that are now exposed for you as a Unity user along with a brief overview of what they do. On top of all of these settings that have been added, we have also done a general reorganization, renaming and a shuffle of the setting locations. This is just for the clarity and to bring it more in line with the Unreal version, allowing for easier transposition of information between the two plugins and between tutorials. So hopefully when one tutorial is made, if it only shows one engine, you will be able to find and use the settings shown in the other engine. Unreal Engine's time system was ported over, so no longer is the time variable set between 0 and 1 in the Unity plugin, it is now represented on a 24 hour scale. This also comes with the functionality to change the size of the intervals using the time units, as well as setting specific time sections to loop, allowing you to much easier and quickly showcase certain areas of time, such as a sunset happening. And we also have a much more concise and simpler to use progression scale. We have a tutorial covering this on Unreal on the channel, which all of that will now work with this Unity plugin. And on top of that, the information is shown in the documentation and it will go in much more in depth on the calculations that are going on. We have the 4.3 edition of cloud tinting, which has been added within the cloud lighting section, as has the Aurora setup. And we're excited to see how you use them. And we will have a video covering both of these and the full functionality. As mentioned in the Unreal release, we intend to have everything fully documented on release. And so feel free to head over to the docs to have a look at what you can do with them. In addition to this, we have brought over Unreal's multi-moon support, allowing for additions of arrays and a vast increase in control for not just one moon, but having multiple moons within your scene. On top of this, we've added in presets so that if you don't require the deep customizability on your moon, you can just quickly throw in a preset and then assign yourself a texture and you should be away. We've also brought over a lot of changes to the water system. Most notably would be the ability to alter not just the reflection steps, but the reflection distance, changing how far each ray for reflection is cast. This will come with a performance hit, so be sure to test and find out what's suitable for your project. The water system also has some changes that are not just on the True Sky Actor itself, adding in water mesh functionality onto the water object, as well as color pickers rather than just having to assign an RGB value to your scattering and absorption settings, giving us a bit more of ease of use. A quick note when using the water meshes is to make sure to check that a mesh is set to read slash write within the object, or your mesh setting will not be respected when using it within play. We also have a lot of changes that came to the sequencer. The big ones that are here, our map textures are fully working, the naming of layers to allow for more control and easier use of your sequences, and the option to control movement via either the manually placed keyframes, which was previously the only way that was allowed, or by just assigning a wind speed within the True Sky Actor and allowing that to move the clouds as you would expect. And on top of that, we also have the new cloud rendering types, which we'll be adding to. Looking forward to the future of Unity, we intend now to keep Unity up to date with Unreal and apologise for how far behind it appeared to have fallen when compared to its Unreal counterpart. Moving forward, we have systems in place to ensure that this won't occur again. But as always, your feedback will always be heard and we aim to bring tutorials out for both Unreal and Unity. The fact that they are now on even footing, as mentioned before, does mean that the only tutorials should now be easily applicable to the Unity engine. 
On top of this, Unity intends to be implementing their own version of visual scripting called Bolt, coming with future versions of their engine. We plan to convert all of our blueprint functionality within Unreal over to Bolt's visual scripting language to allow you to easily use the True Sky systems to their fullest potential without actually needing to know how to code. As always, we're extremely excited to see everyone's projects and hear all your feedback. If you want to reach out to us, use the Q&A board at simo.co or share your project with us using the hashtag TrueSky on Twitter or tag TrueSky as a software within your ArtStation post. I hope you'll have a nice day.